Hey guys, this is Faith from Face World Media. As you can see here at Firefly under Adobe, you notice there's a new message, which is to be the first to try out Google Gemini 2.5 flash image model inside Firefly. So let's start with text to image. This is where you access the model. Now you'll notice on the left hand side, there's a drop down. It's usually defaulted to one of these Firefly image models. And if you want to try out 2.5, what you have to do is simply select Gemini 2.5 flash image. And what I want to show you is how I use my mom's original artwork. Her name is Xiang Li, and I'm going to basically input her original Chinese Empress prints. Originally, she created on silk using watercolor and gemstone colors, and it's just amazing. Okay, guys, look at this stunning design. This is the image I'm going to use. So quickly it loads here. And what I want to do is basically put this image onto a piece of clothing and make sure that a female model is wearing it. So this part of using Gemini 2.5 inside Firefly is very conversational. I'm going to type out exactly what I said, just like that. By the way, you can still use prompt suggestion. Turn on prompt suggestion to view words and you can add to your prompt to complete it. But honestly, you don't even need it. Let's go ahead and hit generate and see what happens. We also put these images on curtains and pillowcases. And what you can do here is double click. Look at that. I think truly this is just stunning, isn't it? Now you can also change up the model here, change to an Asian female model. What's going to happen? So you can make certain tweaks. Okay. Look at this. All right. Now what I want to do is change into a if you're selling merch, especially wearable art, and before you work with a designer or with a POD, so print on demand companies above the knees. Great. What about change this dress into a t-shirt dress? T-shirt dresses are some of our best sellers. It's a little bit more loose, obviously. So let's see what happens. Cool, cool. Look at those details that are filled in on the side. And anytime you want to edit this in Photoshop, you can do that, or you can simply download it. And these images are pretty high resolution. I was going to show you this. There's a lot you can do for what we're doing is for social media. That's good enough. Now I am going to close this out. Okay. Change this dress into a kimono. How about that? So that's a pretty drastic change. Let's see how it's going to handle this. Wow. Cool. All right. Now <laughs> I love the little Sharpe that's being dropped into this corner here. Now I want to try something a little bit different, which is change the background, change the dress background color to navy blue. So I want something a completely different theme. Not that I don't like this. I do like the golden color, which is very true to Xiang Li's art. But what if it's something a little bit darker if our customers want? So change the dress background. That was my bad. All right. Change the primary color of this dress where it's mostly golden and beige into navy blue. All right, there we go. Wow, that is cool. Guys, which one do you like better? So that's one example. And remember when you're working inside Firefly, so when you get rid of that reference image, when you upload a new one, essentially you're starting a brand new generation altogether. It's not going to really lean on their previous generations, the previous images that you've created with Firefly. So I want to show you an example that's a little bit more subtle. So let me upload a different image. All right. That's an image of my dear friend, BJ Miller. And my mom painted that creative portrait as well. So change the man's cardigan into a dark green color cardigan. Let's hit generate. I hit generate twice by accident. Hopefully it will still work. Look at that. It's the same painting. And now the cardigan, look at that different reference. Let's upload another image. Okay. This is a painting my mom did make the boy on the left to turn his head and kiss the girl on the cheeks. Oh my God. That is so cute. Oh, look at that. This is hilarious. Amazing. All right. By the way, I just want to let you know that there's so many different AI features from within Adobe Firefly, text to image, text to video, text to vector, translate video and text to sound effect. Turns out that you can also remove elements that are pretty subtle from within an image. So let's go ahead and try something like this. We can change the color of her wearable. 
So update the woman's outfit to be maroon red. That's pretty cool. Look at that. All the texture and the color is very natural. The rest of the details are all preserved. Let's remove her hat. And what's going to happen is it has to replace it with something else. So I wonder how it's going to look. Let's see. You'd even imagine the hairstyle to be similar to that period, which is really interesting. So now instead of her carrying these arrows, instead of carrying arrows, make her wear a backpack, obviously, which is weird for that period. It's not something that they would be doing, but I just wonder how those details are going to be changed. Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys, they even preserve the flora pattern that my mom painted. All right, now instead of a horse, make her ride a lion instead of a horse. This is pretty wild. All right, it changed in direction. So fascinating. Let me know what you think in the comments below and how you like Gemini 2.5 in conjunction with Firefly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.